Okay, we're recording. It's good. Dosh is very good. Lukey, why are you texting me? <laughs> okay. Hi guys. I today I uh, have a haul from I think the past month. <clears throat> I was gonna film my June favorites video, but then I realized that I should show you guys <laughs> what I got because half of these are my favorites. And um, also, I realized you know, still a couple days of June left, and you know, why not get a, <clears throat> a haul video into the mix because I put a tutorial, outfit of the week, that kind of thing. So uh, in failure of not being unique, I'm going to show you guys some, some things I got recently. First stuff is like foundation stuff. Um, I got a Wet n Wild Ultimate Sheer Tinted Moisturizer. This is in 182 Natural. And this is very, very light. And you don't even need, I don't even need that much. I just need it like here, 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 and here. And I didn't even really need it this morning, I guess. And this costs like three ninety nine, so I think it's um it's uh helps prevent sunburn, so that's really cool. So da 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 hydrant tinted SPF fifteen. That's also good. I um I was running low on my wet and wild twisted cream foundation stick, so I went looking for it. And I figured since it was at the swap meet, I wouldn't find it again. And that's right, I didn't find it again. But I found a Wet n Wild cover uh, cover all stick. And I I don't I forgot what shade this is in, but it's in eight zero four. And it's like I think it's a medium beige color. And this that's all you get. But it was only two ninety nine, so I believe I'll like go get another when I need it because. I don't really need to cover much on my face, so I don't really need a high-end thing. So my dad bought me these. Uh, my friend Philip, we were talking on Skype, and he had me set up an Amazon wish list. So he sent me this NYX sharpener, because otherwise, how are you going to sharpen your NYX jumbo pencils, you know? And uh, it's like... It holds it all together, and then you take off the cap, and then you dump it. So very, that was very nice of Philip. This was like five dollars, and Philip paid for it. So thank you, Philip. And he also got me this five set of Urban Decay eyeshadow sticks, which is what I'm wearing today, and I'm also wearing these today because I figured to see, let you guys see how they work. So this one is in delinquent and it's just purple and this is sh shimmery like these all have shimmers in them and you don't need a base when you put these on that's what I love about them you, you don't need a base and then they're actually pretty difficult to get off so I guess I don't like that but this color is rehab I'm wearing all these colors today like the purples here blues here this color which is rehab is in my crease um, this color is Juju, and this color is on my lid. It's a very, it's a light brown color, and it's shimmery. And there's Sin in Urban Decay eyeshadow stick form. The only thing I don't like about these pencils is the caps like to come off on their own. So I put Sin as a highlight, like a lot of people do. Um, yeah. And here's a blue one which is Clash and I have it on my tight line and it's like a blah blah blah. By the way, do you guys like my double winged liner? My sister said I look like a cholo. I was like, I was just having fun with my makeup today. Don't be so mean. And this is pretty much, I think, my favorite color out of all those five. But, you know, I can't wear it that much. So I wore it on my tight line. Waterline. Tight line. Tight line. Tight line. Um, I accidentally 
accidentally ordered something off Hot Look. I was half asleep. I remember looking at this and then I accidentally clicked order and this was $20 and $7 plus the tax. So this was $27 I had to work off and look how much you get. This is the China Doll Concealer by Napoleon Perdis and this goes on like natural so it's like a light shade. I don't think there's different shades of this but the cool thing is is you squeeze it out a little bit and that's too much like you don't need that much so well I don't need that much um so this is a concealer and uh, the cool thing is is inside there's all these cherry blossoms so I like that that's why I still have the box now, not to mention the box for the Urban Decay eyeshadow crayons were what was cute because it was like purple to a blue color a gradient effect and I have been shopping. If you guys have seen, the Vintage Minnie Mouse collection is out. And I got two colors from that, and then a regular color, and which I'll explain in a second. So the first color I picked up was If You Moused, You Moused. And I was wearing this a couple days ago. Maybe in a video, but I don't think so. And it's a bright bubblegum pink. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I think I have. It's a bright... Oh, I have on... X Club and Beauties. It's a bright bubblegum pink. It's almost like a Pepto Bismol color pink. It's very awesome. Not to mention, if you like OPI on Facebook, there is a contest going on right now where you enter your favorite, your favorite Minnie Mouse memory, and you can win all four shades. Like I already had two shades, but you know, winning them wouldn't be so bad. And maybe I'd like give the two away that I already have. So. Just go like OPI on Facebook, and then there's a tab that says win all four shades. Um, this next color I got, I got yesterday, or the other day, in San Clemente. And this one is, uh, this one is, I'm all ears. And it's a reddish pinkish, like the pinks are a bunch of sparklies, and it's, like it looks reddish pink. And then you like, look at it in the sun, and you can barely see the sparkles. Because they're the same color sparkles. So it's very, very pretty. And since I always go to that, well, since last time I went there, it was the, the beauty supply store. And I got that Nicki Minaj polish for free. I got another polish for free. And this is Dusk Over Cairo. It's a light, dusty pink. And if you guys um, notice, or if you have it, you might notice that it looks very similar to Your Web or Mine from the Spider Man collection. And they do. They look exactly the same in the bottle. But this one is slightly pinker and more milky. And this one's more dusty. So in case you have your web in mind and you think that you don't know if you want Dusk Over Cairo. Or if you have Dusk Over Cairo, you necessarily don't need this. So I don't think a lot of people do have Dusk Over Cairo. Like it's not really a cult favorite or anything. Because uh, this was in the box of get one free so it was like shatters or and my sister was like get this one so I did and I have one more thing to talk about if I have enough time I'm gonna check if I have enough time eight minutes I know we're going pretty long here but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway my sister she bought me a book not my sister I go shopping with my half my half sister who's all married and grown up and stuff these well she only bought me like this last book here but this is the Gallagher Girl series, and I think I can go into a little bit of detail, but I really like this series, so I might just do a whole review of it on my vlog channel, which I will link. But this first one is called I Tell You I Love You, But Then I Have to Kill You. If you could tell, I've read it a lot, because I love it, and it's all dirty because it's white. But this is these are called the Gallagher Girl series. And it's written by Ali Carter, and I'm following her on Twitter. She tweets a lot of weird stuff, but she's very awesome. And it's about a girl who, who is Cammie. Her name is Cammie Morgan. Her nickname is the Chameleon on Missions. And she's a student at the Gallagher Academy for Exceptional Young Women. And they teach her how to be a spy, and she's a spy, and she learns covert tactics and stuff. The second one is called Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. And what she's wearing in the outfit is her school uniform and a trench coat and you never see her face because she's a spy and this one's about this one's about boys coming to her school and then this is don't judge a girl by her cover and you notice it, it all looks patriotic I like this one 
It's about, she has to, there's this girl who goes to her school and she's the daughter of a senator and yeah. So, the their daughter, whose name is Macy, she gets in trouble and they have to have a bodyguard at the school and the school is all covert so you know she can't have a bodyguard but then the bodyguard turns out to be Cammie's aunt so that's what that's about and the fourth one is only the good spy young and I really like the pink but I don't really like the umbrella it's like why she got an umbrella um this one's about the guy she meets in the second book whose name is Zach and uh, he always shows up when she needs his help and this one is about her being in danger and she goes off to places to try to face this thing called the circle I think it's called the circle and she's in danger now so I don't remember what goes on at the end of this book that's why I'm rereading and this one is called Out of Sight Out of Time and I love these book names and this is probably my least favorite cover because uh yeah, she's um, wearing a red scarf and a black, well, I like the black leather jacket, but I just don't like it. But the colors, I guess, are cool. And um, I don't know what this is about. Cammy, she like lost her memory. She don't, The last thing she remembers is leaving school to find try and find the trouble. And um, that's like the last thing she remembers. And it's funny because I feel like her, like that's the last thing I remember too. So these series, this series is a really good read. Um, this book cost nine dollars. Obviously, hardbacks cost a lot more. So this one's seventeen dollars. Seventeen. So I'm guessing these two are seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. And this one's probably a little more. Nope, seventeen. So that's how much they cost. Um, they're a really good read, so I'd suggest getting these if you like reading. And plus, look how cute they all look like that. I was wondering what color scheme she would use for this book, and it's gray. That's a little disappointing, I'm just saying. So, I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I hope you guys watched my tutorial. My makeup tutorial, I just put one up. Um, you know, I kind of like this wing liner, so if you like it tell me and I might film myself doing it uh, so I'll link my tutorial it's called fresh blossom look it's kind of basic but I do a thing where I wear two different eyeliners and I like doing that a lot I think that might be my new signature as an incoming guru so I hope if, if you guys haven't watched that I'll link it below I'll link a bunch of stuff below I'll even link the Gallagher girl site so and the OPI site and probably the Facebook page and even maybe the urban decay and the look site so I'll link everything as much as I can below I'll even link my blog I have a blog I made a blog uh, I, huh, I can't stop talking um I hope you guys have a good day I love you and I'll see you later rock fingers